Oh, they've been making their own iPhone chips for this is iPhone four, I think. But they're made in China. They're made in China. Well, everything's made in China. No, mm, doesn't have to be. Yeah, it does for the iPhone. Why? Because <laughs> when Apple makes a new product, China will literally tear down forests in a week and build a factory. And you can't do that here. That's also a really good point. People made that point about movies as well. They were like, a lot of the movie sales that are happening are happening in China for like box office releases. And Mm -hmm. someone's point was like, a lot of these movies have to be basically quasi okayed by the Chinese like government and what they would see as fine to run for a, a big box office hit. A lot yeah, of, so they're just lot, filtering out the stuff people wouldn't like, I guess. I don't know. A lot of a lot of China stuff, man. It's a lot, yeah, it's a different world over there. Steve Jobs told Obama those jobs are never coming back, so don't even ask. With the kind of macroeconomic tension between people, yeah. I don't I don't know. People are still heavily outsourcing to China, tech companies at least. It's just yeah. not profitable to do it in America for this hardware. Is, this is true. I'm saying there's a there's a lot of vice grip by the ball that companies are forced to make things in China. Of course. And sell things in China. China has positioned themselves really well over the past centuries. Not century, but eh, decades. Yeah, um, they're like the fucking... Uh, the I think point. I said it on this podcast. Like, America's the design firm and China's the factory. They have been the factory for most of the world. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's. That's not a great thing if you, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's an edge that you have that other countries don't. It's and if you're a plug you for people, and people are fiending for what you're giving out, man, and they need it for their economy to survive, some leverage. Okay, so consider this. So we live in a country that basically rewards people via the free market if you have a good idea if you have an idea that benefits society in general you will get rich most likely right and then let's say they outsource that idea to china sell it all over the world person that has the idea gets rich now like take the iphone for example iphone american idea now in china where it's not like a guarantee you would have as much freedom to like maybe create a product could be wrong as you would in America, that's why a lot of the technological innovation is happening in America and then just being repurposed in is China. Is it being like, made in America? Well, what tech I'll, innovation has really rocked the world? Well, I'll take the iPhone for example, and then you're taking an iPhone as a tech innovation. Are you kidding me? The smartphone, yeah. the iPhone, 2007, and then okay. after that. Now, Samsung, Samsung, I mean, started or and all those Chinese companies started copying the iPhone. And is that design or innovation via tech? The smartphone, the iPhone smartphone was innovation, 100%. Okay. That was a computer in your pocket. And now, 20 years later, <laughs> 20 years later, we're still using it. 20 years later, is there, is America making the most innovation tech wise in the world? Well, little ideas like uh, ride sharing apps, like, started here i think that americas have a very non-nuanced idea of tech innovation i feel like if you go other places you go to japan you go to i'm only thinking of japan i'm talking like okay i'm not talking like tech as an all tech i'm talking like tech that has a power button tech with electricity i i am i am too I, i think that a lot of people especially americans that are in america overestimate the amount of tech that we're pushing forward. Really? I don't think so. Because I can't think of a lot of... I can't think of a lot of groundbreaking tech... Besides, like, shit like medicine shit that, like, I don't really know about. I'm talking about stuff that, like, influences the masses. Changes my daily life. As opposed... You know, like, maybe something like TikTok. TikTok was a groundbreaking product that is literally changing the way we view enter- entertainment but something like youtube something like google something like uber something like amazon those are like all american amazon google i, I don't yeah. count uber 
What about like YouTube? Ride share, 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 share. When ride share is existing. What about YouTube? Change the way we Google. view internet on. If YouTube was separate from Google, YouTube would still be as impactful because it was very difficult to watch YouTube or still videos Google. on the internet. Amazon, Google, Apple. The, the, the things that are backing most of American economy and tech. Facebook. Facebook, Amazon, Google. And you can put in Tesla in there a little bit. Maybe some fintech only happens here. And it's more. Oh, like, Tesla's yeah. huge. Even like, I'm, I don't know. Do you think Bitcoin was made in America? From what other people are saying that I trust more than my research, uh, no. But Amazon is also, I mean, is AWS doing Amer only American infrastructure? Or is it doing world infrastructure? It's doing world infrastructure. It okay. started in America. Okay. Like just the invention of the app store. Like I know the Apple app store isn't the first app store, store, but like that platform created thousands of companies all over the world and mm -hmm. made thousands of millionaires. Five to six companies that anchor <laughs> the U.S. economy do indeed are, are good examples of American companies.